the son of the living Yahweh, verse 16, I will build my assembly and the gates of Hades, Sheol, the grave, death, and hell cannot overcome my assembly. You've got to ask yourself, what assembly are you part of? Remember the assembly you used to be part of? Now you're part of the assembly of Israel. What changed? You've come to realize that Yahweh did not get a new stone, but he built it on the stone of Kiva's confession. It was the same stone of Ezekiel's confession. It was the same stone of Yeshayahu's confession. Are you with me? It was the same stone of the confession of Daniel, who saw two thrones in the heavens. It was the same confession of the 70 leaders and elders of Israel in Shemot, Exodus 24.10, where it says they ate and drank in the presence of Elohim. It couldn't be the Father, so who were they hanging out with? Who were they breaking bread with? Who were they having communion with? It says they ate and drank in the presence of the Elohim of Israel. And he is called Selem HaShamayim. Selim HaShamayim. We'll talk about that in two weeks. It's called the body of heaven. They ate and drank with the body of heaven. The image, the, the Adam Kadmon, the ancient Adam, the primordial Adam, the celestial Adam, the Adam who was and then made man in his image. You with me? They went on a mere cover because where was it? Where, where did they meet this Adam Kadmon, the young man Metatron? Where did they meet him? Up on Mount Sinai. Well, in order to get up, that Yahweh had to take them on a what? On a chariot ride. Amen. Uh, are you with me? Let's go back on to the chariot ride of our father, Yaakov. Go with me, please. To Beratius 28. Beratius 28. Is anyone enjoying? No, no, no. I mean, is anyone enjoying? Thank you. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. He is good. And his word is good. Yes. That's what I'm about to feed you. Yes. His word. Beratius 28. Let's start in verse number 12. Yaakov dreamed and saw a ladder set upon the earth with its top reaching to the heavens. Notice. He saw messengers of Elohim going up and going down up upon it. We see Yaakov encounters Elohim, where? At Bethel. Bethel in Hebrew means the house of El, Elohim. When we say Elohim, we're talking about the plurality of divinity. When we say El, we're talking about one manifestation, one aspect of the plurality of divinity. At the house of El, and then here, he says he saw a ladder, notice, reaching to heaven and the bottom upon, are you with me? The earth. The ladder, brothers and sisters, is the way that Yahweh puts Yaakov in a mere kava so that he can climb and ascend. Remember Rabbi Webb taught us about that? He could ascend the steps of the ladder to see who is on the top. Now let's look at verse 13. And see, Yahweh, he saw, what it saw? He saw a what? A vision. He was put in a what? Chariot. What did the chariot ride do? Took him right up that ladder. Hello, somebody. So that he would see the person standing at the top. Look at verse 13. And see, Yahweh stood above the ladder and said, Hello, good morning. I am Yahweh. <laughs> now hold it, hold it. Now he couldn't be the father because he would have dropped dead. Right. He would have just sunk, gone right back down that ladder. Yeah. He saw at the top of the ladder, he saw Yeshua. And you can only, the purpose of Mirkaba, as we learned, chariot rides in the Ruach, is to reveal the son, never the father. It is to see the son. You can meet the driver who will put you in contact with the dispatcher, but you'll never see the dispatcher. You'll only see the driver. I, I would. At the top of the ladder stood Yahweh, and Yahweh said, I am Yahweh, the Elohim of Abraham, your father, the Elohim of Yitzchak. The land which you are lying, I give to you and to your seed. Brothers and sisters, this is the exact spot. What is it called in Hebrew? Bethel. We see that later on um, in verse 19 and elsewhere in this chapter. Bethel means the house of El. 
What's another way to say the house of El? What was it the house of El? Who gathered at the house of El? The assembly of El. And so this is the exact spot on Mount Moriah where the house of Elohim would one day stand. And so we see the, the, the ladder, Yaakov's ladder, touching earth. Why? Because the part of the earth that the ladder touches is where the temple will one day be built. Is where the temple will one day stand. Is where the temple will one day abide. Is where the temple will one day reside. And into that temple, the assembly is gathered. Is any of this making sense? Yes. So, now watch this. At the top of the ladder, according to Horatius 28, 13, who does Yaakov see? He sees Yahweh. But not the Father, because he would drop dead. He sees Yahweh. So at the top, he, he sees heaven, heaven's gate, and the ladder on earth is the house of Yah. <laughs> the Hebrew word for ladder is sulam. S-U-L-A-M. The gematria of sulam, listen, the, what is gematria? Every, listen, every Hebrew letter has a number. If you take the combination of the letters, Samech, Lamet, Mem Sofit, are you with me? Salam, it is the same gematria as Sinai. Are you with me? So this is not just any ladder, it's a ladder of Torah truth. The ladder has the same gematria, the same numerical value as the word Sinai, Samech, Nun, Yud, Salam, Samech, Sulam, Samech, Lamed, Mem, Sofit, final Mem. The same numerical value. Yaakov is going on a chariot ride that is driven by Yeshua at the top. He sees Yahweh, Yeshua, but, but it is what? A Torah ride. Amen. Are you with me? It is based not on lawlessness, but on Torah. Amen. Are you with me? Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Now let's go, to, let's go back for a second. Let's go back for a second to verse 11. Let's backtrack. So he comes to this place. Turn your neighbor and say place. place. Called the house of Elohim. And this is the exact spot where both temples would one day stand. Remember back in Matthew chapter 16, what did Yeshua say? I'll build my assembly. Right? Now we're going to see some unbelievable things. This week. Don't, don't lose me now because... On the way up, you might just get caught in the elevator. So stay with me. Okay? Pay attention. Verse 11. Yaakov came upon a place, a nice place that Yahweh had chosen. He stopped for the night. The sun had set. The first thing Yaakov did was he didn't have a chiropractic pillow, so what did he do? He took one of the stones. Hashem Yahweh. He took one of the stones of that place. What, what place? Any place? Pick your own place? Choose your own place? The place where Yahweh had him stop for the night, known as Bethel, the house of El. The temple would one day be built on that spot. There was no temple that night when he took the stone. There was no temple. Yahweh would show him the temple that would come on that exact spot where he stopped that night through a Merkava in the Ruach, through a chariot ride in the Ruach, through a chariot ride in the Spirit. Now, he took one of the stones of that place. Are you with me? Yes. One of the stones, put it under his head, and lay down to sleep in that place. The Hebrew word for place is makom. We know that that was the exact spot that the temple would be built on, was it not? Yes. What was the holy place called? Makom hakadosh. He took this stone, puts it in a place. Any place? No. The place of Yahweh's own choosing, called, which would eventually be the place of the Makom Kadosh, the holy place, and the Kadosh Hakdoshim in that Makom, in that place. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. The many stones, listen, symbolize the different manifestations of Yahweh, the many stones. He didn't just take any stone, he took one particular stone. Hello? 
Listen, he did not enter his